Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the African diaspora in Wales. From the beloved 18th century black gardener John Istumplin to Tiger Bay, the multiracial community way ahead of its time, we've got some amazing black Welsh history coming up, so stay right where you are. My name's Faida and welcome to Freedom Is Mine, where we talk about black history, culture and contribution from all around the world. Today, I'm excited to say that we'll be looking at black history in Wales, a country that I visited every year as a child, so this episode holds a special place in my heart. But before we get started, if you want to know more about black history in other countries, then please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at Freedom Is Mine Official for more global black history content. Lastly, check out our book, The Afro Encyclopedia, where we look at black history from around the world. That's it from me, let's get started. As you may know, Wales is one of the four nations that make up the United Kingdom, England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. There have been black people documented in Wales since at least the 1600s, usually as servants or musicians working for aristocrats and landowners. One of the earliest well-documented black people in Wales was a man named John Istumplin, born around 1738. Little is known about John Istumplin's early life, other than that he was originally from Africa and was kidnapped and sold into slavery when he was just eight years old. He was gifted to the Wynne family in Wales, who christened him John. He worked as a gardener on the Crickieth estate on and off from 1742 to 1786. He married a woman named Margaret Grifford, with whom he had seven children. The couple remained together until John died in 1786. Today, there is a hotel named Black Boy Inn after John Istumplin, and in 2021, a variety of rows was named in his honour. Wales was home to one of the earliest multiracial communities in the UK, Boot Town, or Tiger Bay as it's also known. By the time the First World War began in 1914, there were people from at least 50 countries from around the world living in Boot Town, including Somalis and Afro-Caribbeans. During World War II, which began in 1939, local authorities tried to ban African-American servicemen from accessing Boot Town's pub, but the pub workers refused to cooperate. In 1919, there were several race riots across the UK, including in Wales. Race riots in Wales initially started in Newport, but spread to Cardiff and Barry. At least four people died, hundreds were injured, dozens were arrested, and the cost of the damages was high. The African Community Centre is a Welsh intercultural initiative that was founded by Professor Uzo Iwobi in 2003. It works to unite and celebrate Africans and Afro-descendant people living across Wales. Black History Month in the UK was officially launched in October 1987. But Betty Campbell, the first black female head teacher in Wales, began organising events celebrating black heritage in Wales as early as 1973. Today, Black History Month Wales and Black History Kimru 365 work to educate people about Welsh black histories that have historically been overlooked. In 2021, Wales became the first nation in the UK to make black history a compulsory part of the school curriculum. Let's finish off this video by celebrating some black Welsh people who've achieved amazing things. Dame Shirley Bassey is a singer who was born in 1937 in Tiger Bay, Boot Town, in Cardiff. She is best known for singing the soundtracks to several iconic James Bond films, such as Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever and Moonraker. In 1959, Shirley became the first Welsh person to land a number one single in the UK singles chart. She remains one of the most iconic British singers in modern British history. Another notable individual is Jessica Dunrod, a writer from Cardiff who founded the Orduron Fund, which translates children's books written by black authors into the Welsh language. In 2022, model and black activist Darcy Correa was crowned Miss Wales in a heartwarming moment which she said she hoped would inspire other girls to embrace ethnicity. Others include the athlete Colin Jackson, rugby captain Clive Sullivan, TV presenter Josie Darby and drag queen Tace. 
That's all for now. Please do check out the rest of the videos on this channel for black history from all around the world and follow Freedom Is Mine on Instagram. I'll see you next time. Ashe. Freedom.